Okay, everybody, this is Studio Series 86 Junkyard Complete Transformation Process. Just a reminder, it is only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Okay, what we're going to do then, we're going to start off by swinging his arms up in the air. By doing that, you can see that we've got the gap in the back of the forearm to just hold, well, sorry, fold his wrists in. Then what we're going to do, we're going to open up the chest like so. Pull this right out, extend it all the way out, then fold the arms up a little bit as well. Then you're going to take what of course is the front of the bike, pull this right out and then fold up the windscreen like so. Once you've done that, what we're then going to do is we're going to put the, I suppose, antenna horns back from the main head and we're going to angle this to go into here, right into this space. So you're going to have to turn the chest and start to bring it and push it up. Now this is where I suppose it confuses everybody because you're expecting to get everything flush, but it will not go flush. Do not worry about it going flush at all. We're gonna bring these um, arm shoulder parts down now. And at the same time, we're gonna rotate the um, forearms around like this. So what we've got here is this is gonna fit underneath. Oh, that needs to go there. And we need to turn the forearm round because what we're looking to do, see these tabs, these are gonna go into the top of the forearm. So as you bring this underneath, rotate this around as well. And then as I say, I can show you hopefully on this angle that this is just gonna fit neatly into that slot. Same over here, underneath and into this slot there. Right, see what I mean about this gap? That's completely normal. Don't worry about that whatsoever. Let's leave this alone for now then and draw our attention to the back. Fold this all the way out as well. And indeed, even bend this up to straighten it out. See how I move that there? That extra bit of kick in the hip, just to line that up. Then we're gonna point the toes forward. And what we've got here again is two huge tabs. And we've also got two cutouts there. So what we can look to do, um, I suppose if we want to now, we can take the wheel, we can pop this in between these, uh, I suppose it's the knee joints, isn't it, at the back. Once you've done that, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna bend again at the knee, see how we're gonna line this tab up like so. That's gonna fit into position. If the seat starts to bend like you've seen that, don't worry, we can correct that in a second. So what I mean by that is, you'll see this is bent. All we're gonna do is just lift it up, straighten it back out. So carry on lining up, oh, lining up the toes into that slot there. There we go, and again, it, this happens quite a bit. So hopefully with this video, it'll just reassure you. All you've got to then do is grab that and straighten it out. Perfect, okay, draw attention to the front. Same sort of principles now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna fold this back, all the way back. There's a tab there and there's a cut out on the back of this. And this is going to line up, let me see if I can show you, on the inside there and click oh, into place. I've just knocked that one out again, but it's no hassle. And then the same on this side. So we're gonna fold this out. In fact, if I show you, there's the cutout, and then around here, there's the tab. So this is gonna come round, and it's going to line up underneath there, and it's just gonna pop into, let's see if you can see, into this tab right there. Right, all we've gotta do now is the same principle. We're gonna pop the front of this into that part of the forearm, and then line this up again. If everything all pops out, it's okay. So let's just bring the wheels down bring the wheels down, line this tab back up. That's the hardest bit, to be honest, just making sure that you've got them both the same distance apart. There we go. And that is the alternate mode. There you go. Okay, then let's take him back to robot mode. I did just put these stands up just so it could balance so we can fold them down. Um, we're gonna just open this here to bring the wheel out. And then if you take this off the tab there, and then just bring it around and over like so. So literally you can see where the cutout's gonna line up. It'll rest back over that spike. Same with this, bring this around, up and over that spike. To be honest, then we can take the whole bottom section, do the same sort of thing, just fold it back out. Let's take the wheel out, let's straighten the leg out like so fold the feet down and then bring these shoulder parts out as well. So now we need to bring the head out, fold it all the way out. Looks a bit like the Terminator at the end of Terminator 2 with the fact it's all over the place. Fold this down, it's in the windscreen and then bring that down. Fold the handlebars right down out of the way as well, just so they exactly that don't get in the way. See these two huge tabs either side there, 
they're gonna locate into these large cutouts. So we can bring his arm, well, his, I suppose, aerials, antenna, horns, whatever they are, out of the top of his head, push that down so it's gonna contract in, start to line everything up. So if we go with the tabs there, first and foremost on each side, again, don't worry if it looks a little bit out of proportion, it's very simple to just click everything in and on top of each other. So in fact, let's get the seat first and foremost, let's fold this up there, there we go. And again, let's just reattach these tabs. It's because he's basically got a double ab crunch and that's what causes all the problems, all the issues. There we go. Rotate that around, rotate this around, bring the fists out from underneath. Same with this, rotate it so the spikes are on the top. And then with that little tab you can see there, bring the fist out. Once everything's all lined up, just again, just however you wanna display him, you can then adjust it. And of course, if you want to, you can put the wheels either side as well on his thighs. There we go, guys, complete transformation process.